What's going on, guys? Zer the Gamer eight away here, bringing you another Fortnite video. Uh, today, uh, I'm gonna be talking about. Uh, in this video today, I'm gonna be talking about uh, my favorite moments from Chapter Three, uh, Season One. Uh, one of my best moments that I've had uh, in Chapter Three, Season One. So I wanted to talk about it. So yeah, um, one of my favorite parts, I think, in Chapter Three, Season was definitely one of the guns. Uh, I think the, the new guns were actually pretty great. That got me back into the game. And some old items that actually returned as well, I think got me back into it because I was actually having a pretty much a great time playing it. And of course, the bills, of course. And I was actually, actually really good at the game. I was, uh, just, was just really good. Like, I was getting so decent at building, I was getting so much better, my aim was getting really consistent, so. That's one of my favorites from, uh, Chapter 3, uh, um, Season 1. And I think I brought a lot of content creators back. I gotta keep that. But, so yeah, I I think I think this is gonna be uh, I think it's brought me back into the game because I used to not play it as much. I never really played as much of of Chapter Two as much because I was just playing other games at the time. But I was just playing a little bit of Fortnite there and there. I never really played it like, a lot, but I I think it really drew me uh, back to the game than I really thought it would be, and it was just the same, and it was just, just the same as usual, and I think it was, I think it was really fun, I, I really enjoyed it, I was getting a lot of wins, I was getting a lot of solo wins, uh, squad wins with my friends, even do with, uh, with my, with my community as well, so, I really enjoyed it, I think it was really cool, I think it was fun, in a way, so, I'm just glad I still play it nowadays. I've been really enjoying uh, Season 2 of Chapter 3. Uh, I did talk about that in a video. If you do want to go and check it out, why I've been enjoying Chapter 3 Season 2. And why it's a little bit more better than uh, last season. But it definitely brought me back to the game. Because uh, I wasn't playing the game as much, but I'm glad I'm back playing the game more. It's been really, it's been really fun playing this game, touching it, and I'm just happy I'm back playing this game. So, those are basically my thoughts on it so far, but let's get into some games here and focus on BR, and, but yeah, those are my thoughts on it, uh, why I've really enjoyed one of my favorite games. And I think also as well to go with that, the foundation, of course, you can just play with the foundation. That's the one thing I really liked about it, where you can just play with the foundation. Having the styles for him, like the rock, of course, behind the whole story, and the whole map changes, the POI kind of remind me of the old map, so it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, looks like I got a guy on me. I feel like he's gonna be. I feel like he's gonna be kind of like over here in this area. Yeah, that's what I feel like. He's gonna be somewhere over here. I gotta get moving. So stop the location. And plus, also the skins were pretty cool too, that they bought for the game. Another guy in here. Two guys. 
Well, on to the next game. Alrighty, we are back. Um, so, in our second game here. But yeah, uh, I think the really best moments of Chapter 3 uh, Season 1 was basically the skins were really cool. We could change just the foundation and add different styles to the brand. I think the skins were pretty cool that they added to the game, like Spider Man, of course, uh, as one of the collab. Uh, partners, and then of course, uh, the web swingers were pretty cool to get around for like rotation and stuff. It was really cool. I definitely really enjoyed that. That was, I think, that was one of the most things that made the game fun because the myth it, it was such a great mythic to use. And hopefully, they'll find a way to like actually replace it as like a mythic where you can use some kind of thing just to use it for rotation. So. I kind of like that. I think it's really cool. So, I definitely really enjoyed that. And being as Spider-Man as well. That's that's the thing I really like about it. Being the actual Spider-Man in Fortnite. It, I think it was really good. Kind of remind me playing like a Spider-Man game, Ben and BR. So, it was it was it was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I think that was one of my favorite things from the game. From that chapter. From that season from the chapter. So, I think it would have to be one of my favorite seasons uh, so far in the chapter was season one. And I've been enjoying this season too. This season's been kind of pretty fun too. So, hopefully if they can continue this as a momentum thing, I think I think it would be really good competitor with Apex and Warzone. Maybe not really slightly to them, but they are trying to be like those BRs where they're trying to bring its popularity back, because look at Minecraft. Like, Minecraft was, like, fading away for, like, a while, I and mean, it bought so many people back to Minecraft to get that shot in hand. It's still, it's still trending until it's popular until this day, so it's, it's least popular right now, but, uh, I do would really like to see Fortnite really come back, and, in its popularity, which it is now, which is really cool, so hopefully, we'll definitely see a lot of more people try out Fortnite, you know, building, and building in this chapter, uh, this season, actually. I don't want to say chapter, but this season actually. But I think it brought a lot of people back. It brought me back. It brought a lot of other content creators back. So it's pretty awesome how this game has been going so far. And they're actually learning. And I think Epic is really learning what the, the mistakes that they made in chapter two that they can run in this season, which makes the game more unique, more realistic, more features. And features we haven't really seen before what they can really do to test their 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 consistency with this game. That's that's my thoughts. Kill that guy. But I gotta get away because there's a tank over here. Someone I guess apparently got a tank, so I don't know what it is, but I think they really made the MK more stronger uh, this season. But yeah, the MK used to be really strong. That's it was like one of my favorite guns. Uh, it was it was it was pretty sick. It would like shred through builds. But I think it made a lot of people quit because everyone hated it so much. It was it was really it was really annoying when you were going up against uh, people at 
had that gun and against belts, it was kind of pretty annoying. But when you actually had it in your hands, it was very comfortable with it. it. It did so much damage with these belts. It was, it's, it was really crazy. Yeah, this was the auto shotgun over there. But yeah, I really like the auto shotgun too as well. I'm, I'm really supposed to talk about the weapons from last season, but... Uh, I think the auto shotgun was probably one of my favorites. It kind of reminded me of the, the tack. Uh, the striker was pretty insane last chapter, but not really this chapter. I have been really disliking it. Because it, it's really hard to shoot it, so it's really difficult to shoot it with that gun. Because you have to hit like a really insane headshot on it. It's just like the pump, but it's more like a striker kind of face to it. But I really don't like it because it's it it's really hard to shoot it. It's like really slow. It's I just want it out. Of my right now, so. But I do like the auto shotgun. It just kind of reminds me of the tack again, and I do like the drum gun this season too. But uh, I think for last season, I definitely loved the auto shotgun. It was kind of like a uh, attack to me. Like, it just looked like a tack, because it shooted like one. So it's... It's pretty insane, if, you, if if I were to say. But, yeah, it was pretty cool. And I also liked from Chapter 3 Season 1 was sliding. I think sliding was a really great mechanic to add from the last season, because it really... Uh, it, it was a really interesting mechanic that they did, because uh, Apex Legends had something like that. And I know Call of Duty kind of has like a like a slide or a sprint or a sprint tactical kind of like thing, but uh, I know Apex had something like that where you can uh, slide and stuff. So, so I think they kind of copied off of it, but I'm not complaining on Fortnite with that because uh, it, it's something new that Fortnite didn't really have. Like Fortnite didn't have sliding. Like you just only had the only thing you only had to rely on is. Uh, launch pads and 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 all of that just just launch pads and basically building and just trying to rotate uh, for like a couple minutes before you have to move and take storm damage so Fortnite didn't really have any of that so it's really cool that they really added that from the last season it was it was crazy and I was pretty happy that they added that it's kind of like kind of made me feel like I'm playing Apex, but I'm playing Fortnite. So it's it's it felt like something like that. And I think I think I give a lot of credit to Fortnite like that. And also as well, guys, uh, this is uh, something to go as well. But my uh, Epic Creator code could be uh, coming back in the next seven days. Uh, I just reached out to Epic Games uh, to bring me my Creator boat Creator code back. Well, apparently I'll be getting it back in the next seven days, so you guys will be using my creator code, my creator code, when I do use it, whatever it's going to be called, but you guys will be able to use my epic creator code again, uh, to support me, and I can officially will sign it all up and everything, and you guys will be able to use my creator code in Fortnite, Rocket League, and any other game that, uh, belongs to Epic Games, you guys can be able to use it in that, those shops, and it would be very much supportive to me if you guys don't have, can't like afford to sub to my Twitch channel or like uh, for bits or anything. It's gonna be another way to like basically support, basically uh, myself as a content creator. And you guys that want to support me that have been part of this journey with me for a very, very long time. There. I need to take notch damage there. But yeah, it's gonna be another way to like basically support me 
and maybe later on in the future, guys, I do planning on making a Patreon, and I'll shout you all the Patreons in my videos uh, at the end of them, and and always all the time on my Twitch streams. Just all the support uh, from that Patreon will be kind of great because I will be doing Q and A's, gaming tips, uh, behind the scenes stuff. It's gonna be great for the Patreon. And that's going to be for the goal when I do reach 1,200 followers on Twitch. And if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch, uh, be sure to hit that follow button over there. Uh, I will have a link to my Twitch in the subscription below. We stream uh, every uh, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. So if you guys do want to come and check me out, uh, we do live stream there four days a week. And... Uh, be sure to come and check out my Twitch. We live stream on there. We do a lot of gaming sessions. We play with viewers. Uh, we do a lot of content on other stuff. We, I do give a lot of advice to people about streaming. And uh, I do want to bring a lot of advice to here on my And I just got right my eyes. But uh, what do you guys think of uh, these of my Chapter 3 Season 1 uh, moments? of my career on both my consecration career and, sh and streaming career. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Chapter 3 Season 1? Do you think it was a really great season that it brought a lot, some people, back to the game? It brought me back a lot, but hope you guys definitely agree to one of the thoughts that I did talk about that brought mostly the game's popularity back. Uh, but I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video. If you guys did it, did enjoy it be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you are new be sure to also tap that bell so you guys don't miss any notifications when i do upload a video on my channel but uh thank you guys so much for watching know the gamer ate away here and i will see you guys in the next video